I don't even know what Grimace is, but is he? I don't think anybody really knows. By the time you find out, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, on my deathbed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, he was a... <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when you're like, what do I do with this yeah. money? He painted butterflies <laughs> his entire life. <laughs> God, he really did it, didn't he? <laughs> you just, think he'd have gotten better at it, though. <laughs> These... Just leave it on my grave. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Mysteries of life, right? Grimace. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Grimace. What you going to do about it? <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Waiting to Dry. This is an art podcast. Hopefully, uh, you've heard of it before, but if you haven't, here we are. <laughs> Told you it was awkward. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. My name is Sergio Lopez, and I'm a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Josh Lawyer. I don't know if Josh likes me. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Blake Newbert on the podcast today. What's my sound? Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> We're nice to our guests. <laughs> uh, awesome. Yeah. Thanks for doing this, man. Absolutely. Thanks uh, for asking. You're a bit off the mic. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You're here in the Bay Area for a couple of days. Doing a teaching gig. Yep. Yeah. Doing a workshop. Yeah. Then off to, well, back to Colorado and then off to parts of uh, Los Angeles. So, yeah. Nice. Should be good. <laughs> yeah. How are you enjoying the weather so far? <laughs> I don't mind the rain. I actually dig it. I like yeah. I like overcast. So nice. oh, do you? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Awesome. You, did, did Colorado go through that uh, polar vortex at all? No, we're catching something now that's pretty miserable, but not like negative. <laughs> huh. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. No, but I actually I used to be a teacher, and there was one year in Wyoming where I taught where it was so cold with the wind chill it was negative sixty three. Wow. So and they didn't cancel school huh. they kept it going when one of the like the teachers she shattered the lock on her car wow un, like tried to lock it so <laughs> that's crazy like, brutal i'm glad i'm here <laughs> yeah. humans shouldn't be <laughs> yeah yeah do you paint in a heated environment <laughs> like, um, like your studio or wherever you work yeah there, there, i've got some like space heaters but usually it doesn't get that cold okay it's, <laughs> it's pretty fancy winters there hmm. yeah that sounds cool so yeah. nice. usually it's not like twice a year it'll get that bad but yeah awesome well our guests probably hate that we're talking about weather <laughs> no, anyways guys you know what's cool about precipitation <laughs> it varies <laughs> exactly <laughs> see when the rain when the water evaporates it's a circle of life so yeah we could just go through like metropolitan <laughs> like do you know that it's yeah it's not snowing right now in minnesota yeah you didn't know you were signing up to a weather podcast <laughs> did we not make that clear <laughs> Uh, Actually, yeah. did I make it clear in the intro? It's an art podcast. <laughs> yeah. I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, for those who don't know your work, you you work. You, you seem to have this like uh, I, I think you paint mostly in oil, right? Mostly acrylic. Mostly oh, it's really oh, good. Really? Oh. Huh. Yeah, yeah. It looks like oil. <laughs> so, yeah, I tried. I try to. I guess mimic that look a little bit because. When I used to paint with acrylic, when I, I guess when I thought what acrylic should look like, it just never worked. Mm -hmm. and so I gave up on it like right away. And mm -hmm. then, you know, I had cats and kids and like when you have a few mistakes where like your, your cars get ruined from oil and, or right. you just get all over the clothes, you're like, mm -hmm. all right, I'm not doing that again. Like I'm switching over. And, <laughs> um, so I started just messing with it and I actually really started liking it. Um, it's way more versatile than I ever thought. So I, mm. And actually, super cheap stuff too, like the the worst stuff you could ever buy. And basics or whatever. I don't want to name brand. I mean, I mean, oh shit! This is sponsored by Basics. Oh, <laughs> I mean, uh, um, the, no, I, the cheapest, shittiest stuff. It's like, oh, basics. Yeah. <laughs> <Shots> fired. <laughs> um, no, I. I would say ninety percent of the paintings I've done in the last two years, mm -hmm. everything's been bought at Walmart. Oh wow! <laughs> like I'm getting you know cereal and like I should get some canvases, and some paint, and some brushes, and I just I just let the brushes just sit in water until they like explode and like go away. Open them. 
like I just don't care about the supplies and it's beautiful. But like when, when you've got like, you know, we were talking in the workshop today, when you have like super nice stuff, I never want to use it. Right. Yeah. Huh? You know, I've got this brush that's 150 bucks. Damn. And I would never get paint on that thing. Like, why would I do that? It's a beautiful brush. I'm kind of guilty of the opposite. I'm always fucking up my expensive brushes. Like, I should get better at cleaning these things. <laughs> They're expensive. Yeah. And that, it came down to that where I had some nice ones and just my lifestyle. Like, I wouldn't necessarily get back to painting for four or five days. Like, mm. oh, cool. I ruined another Royal Langnickel brush. Yeah, That's right, great. Yeah. Thank you. Know? <laughs> so now I, that is I just hilarious. have, like, just... It doesn't seem to matter, like, and I can use more paint than because it's like a dollar a tube. I'm like, sure, I'll just use the whole thing. And then, <laughs> yeah, and totally. And the more paint you use, the more it kind of feels like oils. Like, it's, it's uh, right, kinda, right. It's yeah. cool. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, like, so when people hit you up on Instagram, because I mean, it's well known that if you do art, someone's going to say, "Hey, what kind of brush is that? Hey, what kind of..." paint do you use so do you get to go like walmart <laughs> yeah <laughs> sam walton's company um worst of the worst actually people you know it's funny like when you think of like who you're following is mm -hmm. it's not a ton of like people asking me my technique oh really I, hardly anybody ever asks like are you using what kind of no i don't think people care because they're like oh, wow. you know thinking of, usually they're like at, you know like whoa usually like the right. shock values there to where they're like right you just painted huh. a, a eggplant dick yeah. <laughs> wait what kind of brush did you use for that yeah. Yeah. is that dioxazine purple for that dick yeah. i've been trying to paint an eggplant dick and i haven't matched that purple that well it's yeah. very hard <laughs> many many studies many studies um yeah have, have a lot any of favorite them. models <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me show you my phone yeah. uh um, so yeah, I, I hardly ever get that question cause I don't think, I don't think a lot of other artists follow me as much or mm -hmm. if they do, they, they're like, I actually know how to paint this. <laughs> like, yeah. He's clearly just using these three colors. It's not that good. Uh, uh, God. Yeah. I mean, so self-deprecation, that sounds like a thing. <laughs> I mean, not really. It's just a very real thing. Like, I, as far as the world of painting goes, uh -huh. I have to be real that, like, you've got people that are A-plus painters. Mm -hmm. I'm a C-minus. <laughs> like, my technique, I, I'm okay with that. Because, like, in, in a world where you've got... It's a good thing all the students are gone. They don't yeah. hear this. Oh, sorry, guys. You're going to get your money back? Yeah. 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 I suck at this. Don't worry. This comes out on yeah. Tuesday. You'll be gone by then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I taught you guys shit. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't. Oh, well, yeah. maybe I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, it's... Uh, but I'm okay with it because, you know, I, I actually talked to them about the workshop today. of Like, when you've got Richard Smith's and Jeremy Lipking's, like... Mm -hmm. They're there. They are right. the the spot is already there. Like, mm. no need to try to be like them because right. if you are, you're just a a master copyist of them. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew that early on. I was like, my technique. I'm just too impatient to be like. Wow, I'm really gonna learn these. It's like no, huh. and I guess I'd rather have like a feeling or a joke mm -hmm. rather than like God. Well, look at the way he painted that hand. <laughs> yeah. We're like, God, that's a beautiful eggplant penis. How do he do that? <laughs> yeah. He's a genius. No. But I'd rather people be like, what the? And read it and like, that's funny or that's weird. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. It's the compliment of like, you know, around technique. It's nice if you ever get it. But right. for me, it's like, I'm okay with if people, you know. But yep. it, it, technique hardly ever comes up in conversations or, or comments. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense, especially with your work in general. It's the overall, like, imagery is what kind of takes, even if it isn't funny, it's still kind of, like, in your face and no one's really, yeah, you know. Yeah, and I'd rather, I, I want it to be good enough to where it's not distracting that, like, like the emoji series where it's like, wait, mm -hmm. is that, what is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't focus on what it is. I just want it to be good enough to play, to be like, okay, it reads as this and not like, dang, the way he did that, what, you know, I don't. That's not been a huge inch. I just want it to be right. sufficient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I get it. How how did you like? How do you come up with these like these like big kind of overall like ideas you seem to run with? 
you know, the, a lot of recent ones were like talking to my kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They would be like, you know, Daddy, why is the why is there two hearts for eyes? I'm like, ah, uh, because <laughs> that's what love looks like. like <laughs> why? Like I, and then I thought like, you know, because I always go back to like when you hear like a story about something. It's always based around something just truly horrible, but mm-hmm. over the years it gets watered down to like, yeah, you know, um, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Like, right. Isn't okay. that cool? It's about the play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But like we have it adopted to like this um, kind of playful thing or yeah. whatever. Uh-huh. Um, so I, I thought, well, what if these actually came from these horrible stories from <laughs> years ago of like, yeah. but we've, you know, maintained it. So, you know, just kind of being weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because some of them you wrote like out like poems. Like I think the grimace face you like came up with this poem for it, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like a something that kids would repeat on the playground kind of yep. style of it. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to just you know come up with weird stuff like <laughs> you know the the Instagram world is is so interesting because you could do six paintings in a row that are similar. And people are like, that's awesome. But by the time it's seven, it's like, oh, my God, he does the same shit over and over again. <laughs> yeah. And, you know. <laughs> Do you read, the, read it that way? <laughs> yeah. I, it's like, You're I, reading that voice is what I'm trying to yeah. say. Oh, my God, Cameron. <laughs> oh, my God, he's doing the same shot. Um, okay. But um, that's just how everybody in my head <laughs> Um So... Um, I, I try to keep it interesting for me because I'm always bored with stuff. And mm-hmm. usually by the time I start posting things, I've already done the cycle of the paintings. Right. right? So by the time they're done, I'm like, shit, what's next? Mm. Um, okay. So you paint them all then like, yeah, do them, usually put them out one by one. Yeah. Usually if I get an idea, I just, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do all five of these before the idea runs away. Mm. And so I'll, I'll do them in a day or two days mm-hmm. and then I'll slowly release them a little bit release them like i'm a big musician you know i'll do a, yeah. do a album uh, drop yeah i'll yeah, drop and then i'll do like a <laughs> hard <laughs> opening a soft opening and... <laughs> one more time <laughs> Come at you yeah. <laughs> uh, but serious you're... artists people serious artists. <laughs> serious we don't joke uh, <laughs> this ain't a game <laughs> Uh, yeah. Do you get a lot of, I mean, when you initially came up with those like scraping ones, mm-hmm. did you get a lot of people who like were upset about that or were they o- happy about the overall idea? That was a really weird process because I had, um, that's kind of the beginning of me saying, you know, I don't care anymore. I'm just mm-hmm. super done with this. And I had a, you know, a, a decent following, but I felt like, you know, I, I, I was just so used to failing everything. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what? This sucks. I quit. You know, I'd rather, mm-hmm. you know, cut my nose up to spite my face and be like, you know, I, I chose to do this. I did this to me. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I thought, you know, I'm just going to start doing really ugly stuff. Mm-hmm. And just because no one liked the other stuff. Like, so I was doing like, you know, life drawing things right. and posting them and they'd get, you know, not much. I was like, mm-hmm. well, what am I even doing? I don't care anymore. <laughs> and then. I started getting more followers and I thought, you know what? Someone probably bought me followers because I was complaining and feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> Someone bought you followers. That's what I thought. So I was like, how did I just get 500 new people? Right. Somebody just bought me those. <laughs> and then they started having the video option where it would count how many views. Mm-hmm. And I thought, I'm going to figure out if someone, you know, if I have 4,000 followers, I right. should in theory have 4,000. You know, back then I thought I should have 4,000 views. Right. right. So I did these little kind of when I was a kid, um, I would actually do these little like drawings of like Batman or whatever. On the back of the drawing, I would do like muscles and bones, so you could hold it up to closer or just move the mic to you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that worked perfect. perfect. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's my first time with people. <laughs> um, uh. So I would um, hold it up to the light and you could like see, you know, here's Batman and then hold it to the light. Like, and there's always whatever, you know, uh-huh. guts. And, and so yeah. I thought, well, you know, I could just do something like that again. So I did a couple of those, but it was pretty limited because you couldn't color the top sheet. Mm-hmm. So I thought, well, how do, you, how do you do that? So I thought, well, maybe I'll try using paint. So messed with a few things and then real quick did the first one. And then I thought, well, this is probably super cheesy, but I need to post something tomorrow. So I posted it. And then I 
went to lunch and when I came back, like the, um, the battery on my phone almost had died from so many like alerts. It was like, <laughs> oh, shit. What <laughs> the, f-? you Your know, phone was glowing. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just all these, like, it was the first time, you know, people were like tagging other people mm-hmm. and stuff. And I was like, hmm, is this cool or is this super gimmicky or cheesy mm. or, well, I'll try another one. And the funny thing is, is like, they just kept doing worse as I would post them. People, you know, so I thought, okay, this is cheesy whatever i'm not hmm. i'm not gonna you know do it but then i thought no I, I think i could go somewhere with this so i did a couple more and then who was it illustrated monthly posted it and hmm. it got some some attention i thought hmm. well, that's pretty cool but it didn't really affect anything no i got some followers from it but it was kind of like cool but then business insider was like hey we saw your videos can we post this we can guarantee you seven million views <laughs> And I was like, cool. I've heard stuff like this my whole life with art of like, yeah. And then like, there'll be this unicorn and rainbows and like, yeah. you get to have your own planet. You know? <laughs> have you not got your own planet yet? I did after this. Okay. It's not well, very big. Sorry for jumping to the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. And then I got my Spoiler own Spoiler alert. <laughs> God. It's been waiting to dry everybody. Yeah. But I can't uh. find it. <laughs> um, so... Um, it's a it's a tragedy at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, but the planet I just can't find. They're all dead. <laughs> Everybody on that planet is dead. Um, uh, so, uh, well, gosh, what were we even talking? About? So business, business. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so I totally, I was like, sure, whatever, you can use it. Fine, I don't care. <laughs> and um, so they. Um, oh my, my! I had to go to a funeral, and I left the the, the state for a while and then um started a part-time job oh wow working at a liquor store it's Mm -hmm. really really glamorous yeah it sounds glamorous and so popping bottles popping bottles (laughs) y'all yeah um so and i'd forgotten about the video Mm -hmm. let's let this train do its thing (laughs) Uh, if you guys can't hear oh it's chugging along (laughs) hopefully it's one of those large freights (laughs) seven days later (laughs) (laughs) um and so I'm sitting there like facing wine bottles and then I get a text from my friend. He's like, dude, you just blew up the internet. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I looked and he sent me a screenshot and it had like 9 million views. Wow. And I was like, Damn. oh my God. <laughs> like I wasn't excited. <laughs> I was scared to death. Because the, yeah. the thing that's weird about like your progression in your hobbies and your, your art is that you start off and your parents are like, you're doing great. We love you, everything you do. And then you mm-hmm. go to school and they're like, you're doing great. We love everything you do. You go to college, you're like, we're going to give you a little pushback, but good job. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you your friends and family are like, we love you. And so, like, largely it, you, you only attract your friends pretty much, right? Or they support you and you're mm-hmm. used to it. Mm-hmm. You don't really get any negative feedback even when you start your own page, really. Like, it's you're only going to attract people that like your stuff. So they're right. not going to yeah. be like – why are you painting you know whatever like they're mm-hmm. like so, eggplants yeah. <laughs> why are you painting it? are you the eggplant guy <laughs> um go to your planet <laughs> egg planet <laughs> um and so what happens is when like they just share it on a huge page that's just anybody now right that's yeah. like your racist uncle and your crazy <laughs> aunt right. and your super religious you know like so it isn't just like we like art it's like here's just somebody who's on the internet mm-hmm. and so i was like so what did your racist uncle say to him sergio he was pretty rough dude. <laughs> dude, not cool. say it say it point fingers <laughs> not cool sergio <laughs> yeah. <Fuck> you asshole. <laughs> 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 um so I, I i ran to the bathroom i was like oh my god oh my god and like i um started reading the comments and mo i mean like most you know people like they'll hear they'll read a uh, like a nice thing and like okay what's next what's next you right. know, you're just looking for the bad stuff and right you, you know i would say it was 80 percent favorable which is mm-hmm. cool but you don't and then it was like people were like this shit sucks. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck this guy. You know, all these things like, <laughs> but why? Like, and they were just so like, this is stupid. What a waste of time. Like, this is dumb. I could have done that. Or what? This is an art. You'd right. never see this in a museum. How would you even just like, just ripping me up? I was like, but I thought it was fun. <laughs> yeah. I really, did. I'm yeah. sorry. God, I don't know if I've ever had, that. you probably oh, got a lot was... of, I mean, you probably got a lot of love, but the hate is, I mean, every time I get a, a hate, like a little, you know, 
backhanded compliment or something, I go in their page <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> like, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like to myself. And the, right. Uh, yeah. I, it, I actually would write to some of the people that I thought, mm-hmm. you know, there's no way to look good when you're like, oh, really? Yeah. Well, you can't, you know, you just <laughs> yeah. look like you're losing twice. You yeah, know? So sure. I, you know, I delete them or whatever. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was super weird because like when someone says, you know, so, like a troll says something online, like they don't really think the person's going to read it. And, right. they don't, and so they don't care because they're like, sure, I'll never see this person. Like when you flip mm-hmm. someone off and they're, they're, you're driving, like you right. don't, you're flipping their car off. You're not yeah, really flipping you're like, mom? That. Oh, sorry about <laughs> that. That's when it gets awkward. I thought it was dad. Sorry. <laughs> um, so... You know, I think, and you know, I had family members that were like, we read those comments. It was really sad for mm. us. And I was like, I know. <laughs> Damn. I'm still going to do these paintings. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But so the, I would do more and the more they would share. Like they, they started getting, I mean, for like six months, it, people were always reposting, reposting. And then a lot of them never even got permission. They would just make, make their mm. own videos, which is whatever. The second on the internet's not yours anymore. Right. Um. But by the end of that summer, it was like over a hundred million views of these various videos. And like, I really like, really took some of that stuff personally. Like, is this stupid? Am I an asshole? Mm-hmm. Am I a, pe-? you know, like mm-hmm. you just, you know, you hear that like a thousand times and you're like, whoa, wow. like I've never even heard it once to this point. Cause people either like nice to your face and then right. they leave, they're like, dude, that stuff was shit. <laughs> I hate that guy. But like, you know. But to to read it and like, wow, they really, these people did not like it. And then like, and then it kept getting bigger. Uh, it got on like the main page of um, Snapchat for, oh, oh, really? wow. yeah, for the, the day was like, cause they asked me like, can we, can Snapchat post the stuff? I was like, oh, sure, whatever. <laughs> and they, I didn't realize it was the main page, mm-hmm. which I, I'm old and silly. So I don't really know. You young uh, kids with your Snapchats. Yeah. With your Snapchats. <laughs> and your YouTubes. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to snap fingers. In the Snapchats. In the snow. <laughs> Both ways. Left-handed. <laughs> um, and uh, like that day, I was working at the uh, the uh, the old liquor store. And, I, and someone was like, dude, you made the main page. And I was like, yeah, I know. Wait, what? <laughs> I got 20,000 followers that day. He's like, now go sweep the floor. (laughs) That's cool, man. Someone took a shit in aisle three, cleaned it up. Why? This is a liquor store. Why would they do that? They hate your art. (laughs) Okay. Um, Uh, So um, that was crazy because like I would like refresh it and like the number would change every single time. Like, what is happening? But on the flip side is you gain a lot of short-term people. Mm-hmm. The very first time I didn't post a scrape away, I lost a thousand followers like wow. right away. And people would like comment, I just stared at this waiting for something to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you wasted my time. Like, sorry, damn. person that was going to do that anyway. <laughs> yeah. But like, yeah, I couldn't believe it. And that is weird. And then I stopped doing them for, I mean, I only did probably three in the last like year and a half mm. just because you know if i'm not feeling i'm not gonna do it for sure but i would i mean i was stuck i would gain 100 lose 100 every day mm. so it was just like i would lose the people that i got in this like right big um yeah even on your instagram you kind of see like this dialogue you put out there like i don't know if i wanted to do this anymore <laughs> i think this is the last time i'm going to do like you, you could see that you are having like this internal like battle with yourself as if you uh, to see like if you want to do this or or not yeah it's interesting it is weird there's something about like i don't know i think if you really care about something you have to in your mind be like i i need to walk away at some point Mm -hmm. because if i care about it enough i need to know when to quit right versus like yeah just keep milking the same thing right but if it's like if it's time to be done there's definitely a point where i just i'm just gonna shut it down for sure go find another cow to milk yeah yeah. Or I mean, your work in general, though, you seem to have like, I can't remember you did like a superhero s- section. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those were pretty cool. And like, you know, it was like, oh, like you see like these like ideas. You could like, if you just go through your Instagram, it's like you see these waves where you're like, oh, I kind of want to do this. And you just do it for a while. And then you're like, all right, next thing. Yeah. I I once had a gallery. They 
we were ch- uh, chatting and they were like, you know, you've got like five different styles, five different styles that we would take, but we can't take it with one person. You're a marketing nightmare. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. So I was like, that's really sweet. Thanks. <laughs> You're like, let me get four buddies to say they do <laughs> <Yeah>. these. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I, it, I get it though. Like, you know, if you like the Rolling Stones, you want to hear a song that sounds like the Rolling Stones. Yeah. You know? And but, if, uh, if you want, I, I, but I, I just can't keep doing the same thing because I don't know. Cause I, we're artists. I mean, artists being stagnant is tough for us. You know, if you want to do that, you can go, you know, make, I don't know, boxes for your entire life. Yeah. We want to do different things. That's kind of how our brain works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It's always weird whenever anyone kind of comes at you with that like oh i like your old stuff or something like that you're like well i'm not gonna do that forever right i have to change always for me yeah yep yeah it's uh it is interesting because you want to kind of honor the people that you know like certain things but at the same time it's like well i I gotta do other stuff too Mm -hmm. um yeah it's tough for sure yeah and i don't know it's a, a as long as, for me, especially, or from in my perspective, as long as I believe that the direction I'm going is good, then I think that there's going to be someone out there that agrees with me. And maybe you're not the right gallery, but I'll, yeah, you know, there's someone out there that'll, yeah, yeah, you know, it can't be that wrong, unless you're like the that Garth Brooks, uh, what, what that one album he did, Chris Gaines. <laughs> Chris Gaines. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just got him tattooed on your yeah. chest. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, yeah, was that a bad album? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty artistic actually. So here, let's let's just listen the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, it, it's weird though, because like, if somebody else did that, maybe it was totally awesome. I, it, right. Just people are. To try to chase the the current taste is a waste of your time. Like, mm-hmm. if you look at the people where things lined up, they were doing that. They were going that direction anyway. So people right. that are jumping to chase the next thing, mm-hmm. you're already behind because right. those people are doing it already. So you just have to run ahead with like, this is the best idea I have. I'm going to go with it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I agree. And yeah, it, it is that thing where they've been doing it and they just kind of the style that became a trendy thing, but they've been doing it for so long. So the, the greats have just, they saw it before it was a thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, It's always interesting for me when someone's doing something that isn't trendy and they're sticking to it. Cause to me, it's like, Oh, like maybe that will be cool, (laughs) but you, yeah, you, you have faith in it and you believe, yeah, you enjoy doing that. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a big conversation I always have with my art buddies of like, if, um, I don't know, pick a lot of, pick any famous old artist. If they hit Instagram, like you look at a guy like Cy Twombly or Andy Warhol or, you know, mm-hmm. these big, big names, if they were on Instagram, like, would they have changed their style over time? Be like, man, you know, cause you look at these guys, their life's work sometimes is limited to like three or four styles. Right. Mm-hmm the internet has no time for that. So it's forcing people to like progress maybe quicker than they should or not get a full breadth of, um, work. Right. Like extend this concept all the ways, but it's like, Nope, I got to move ahead because people, if I do another one of these, regardless of what any artist tells you, it's, it's you, you look at your numbers. Yeah. And -hmm. especially if, if you have huge drops, you pay attention to that. Where like, I got like 10,000 likes on this and this one got three. That's right. a, that's noticeable. Like mm-hmm. what did I do that? Yeah. Is well, that my mis- Me recently I've, I've been noticing like a huge increase in like followers recently. And it's kind of interesting hearing you talk about your big bump in, in followers, because for me it was the moment I was like, I just, I'm not going to try to figure out how to beat this system. I'm just going to post whenever I want, do whatever I want to do and not take it not like let it fuck with me. You know, I got to post every day at this time. And all, like all those things, I just was like, I'm going to stop following these stupid rules. Yeah. And that's what kind of when like all of a sudden I'm like, Oh wow. I, I'm, I've been growing rapidly and I don't understand why I'm just going to kind of stay with this mentality. Like I don't want you to, I don't want to beat the system, you know? And like, yeah. Cause then at that point rules. you're, you're just, you're catering to, just like 
fake thing. Yeah. But if you're like, you know what, I'm just going to do my own thing. And if it works, it works. Yeah. And it's almost like people can sense that. And you, you've kind of liberated yourself from like, well, I usually do three quarter face things and that usually works. But, and then you're like, you know what, I'm going to do a foot today. I'm going to mm. paint it and I don't care. Yeah. And I, you know, it almost recharges your batteries and you are able to kind of do things in a different way. Yeah. Um, you know, the thing for me is I always feel like I have to quote unquote educate my followers of mm. my next thing hmm. where like, you know, if it's, you know, the woke series mm -hmm. at first, you know, people were like, hmm? and you know, and that actually started off pretty good. But usually when I change, it'll drop because it's not the last thing. And then right. the numbers will go up again, but it's kind of like I'm teaching people my, my mythology of like, right. These are the stories that I'm telling. Mm -hmm. You don't know this one yet, but hang out and I'll finish the the narrative of it. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's worth sticking around for. Or at least I like to, you know, like that's what I'm trying to convince you to do. That's okay. cool. So, yeah, you have to, that's why I try to like to do a full series real quick. Of right. Like that was the, you know, and. So I don't I don't know if it if it's too much change, but I I'm just gonna do things that I think are fun or funny or right. weird or you know relevant to me at the time like I'm I'm you know I try not to be I don't try to be political I don't try to be super currently topical mm -hmm. because if you're too topical it it dates you mm. you know like you guys remember watch Mad TV mm -hmm. oh, it was yeah. like that was so funny and then you watch it you're like. Another O.J. Simpson joke? <laughs> this isn't funny. Right, or another, yeah. you know, it's like, this was so funny back then. But, you know, if you're just picking on, like, the daily stuff, like. Right. And mm. people, For sure. You know, so I try to think, like, what what things are, am I finding interesting right now? Right. And then if I find it interesting, and usually I'll try to put some, like, anecdotal whatever in a comment. You know, and then that's people just know, like, that's what I'm thinking about right now is this thing, you know, and if they catch on to it, cool. But more than anything, it's almost like a, a, a diary of sorts. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about today, you know. Yeah. yeah so. It kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, like you hear today about the music industry. Everyone's like, make a hit, make a hit. Like, that's what everyone's focus is. And, at least for me, the musicians that I think are creating really good music right now are people that are thinking of the album as a whole and really going through that whole process of like, I want to create this cohesive mm -hmm. chunk of, and it forces, you're kind of forcing the audience to then look at everything rather than look at the one hit, you know, yeah. and say like, oh, this, I love this hit. And instead, they're saying, no, you have to like take time out of your day and pay attention to everything I created as a whole thing. Yeah. Um, I always really respected, and it's probably changed and I haven't looked, but for the longest time you couldn't get tool albums on like iTunes. Mm. And oh, I think right. Radiohead mm -hmm. held out for a while too, Yeah, because they were like, no, we want you to buy the album because right. we put just as much time as the album art. Yeah. And we don't want you to buy one song. You need the whole album. Yeah. And I always thought, God, that's, that's a crazy idea to like, lose a ton of money for people that just wanted to buy like three or four songs on the album right. no we're not selling that we're selling the whole album for sure you're not gonna buy the hit and i thought damn that's some integrity right there yeah. like, hmm. you know and i think yeah i think more people are, are trying to go that route of like you know what's what's my early i mean that's what i'm trying to do is like what what's going to be my thing that you know at this point i'm doing this series like i really want to like make mm -hmm. it seem like it fits somehow yeah um, and not, but then, you know, at, but move on to the next album, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Is there a process in how you kind of like, do, how does, how do these ideas crop into your head? Are they just kind of like a, like an Oprah aha moment? <laughs> it sounds cheesy as fuck, but <laughs> who? Uh, <laughs> she's like a talk show personality. What? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> she's kind of, it's, <laughs> it's a small niche, like, uh, <laughs> underground thing <laughs> i think i know him <laughs> um but it's uh you know it just comes from like the absurdities of life mm -hmm. like it's i always like to look at patterns in life right and just how things come to be and just just how silly so many things we've agreed on in life as being acceptable things or like here's a narrative about or here's the story of this like that was a thing i can't believe it so i must just like to point it out like here's another stupid thing we we've all you know been right. told hmm. and just bring it out yeah i don't know i just i like to focus on 
I don't know, kind of the lies we were forced to believe, huh. you know, of like, hmm. you know, like the, the Custer painting that he did, you know, you'd ask 10 people on the street, 10 of them would say, Oh, president Custer, the, <laughs> the most Royal of all Royal men of America. Like, I'm usually like the pastry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, they, they would think he was some, you know, super great guy, huh. but his story is horrible. Right. Like mm-hmm. he's this guy who he was a teacher. He started dating one of his students who was her dad was the superintendent. He was like, stop dating my teenage daughter teacher. <laughs> Hmm. Or you're going to prison, or you're going to enlist in the army. And he enlisted in the army and barely graduated. At, I mean, think West Point. So he probably had some some good skills, but literally, he was this guy who was just so full of himself. He had a good look. He had you know this long hair and these big gloves, and like he had a he was a, one of the first guys to be like a personality. Mm-hmm. But when it came down to it, he was really. I'll talk. Yeah, and he would get him in big jams. And his first major campaign, well, not one of his big notable ones very early on was ended up with Custer's last stand. Like he got right where he demolished everyone and killed everyone because he's super awesome. I believe well, that story ends. So he, so they are on him so bad, and he is so scared for his life. This is the first time where he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> he shaves his head. He oh, dresses really? like everybody else because he's like, they're going to go for me. Hmm. And so when the rest of the uh, cavalry pull up in their cars, just kidding, right. I don't know why I said pull up, when they ride up <laughs> in their On limos. T- rolling in 20s. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, are these Teslas? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't ride gas. Don't <laughs> yeah. The emissions. <laughs> so Super they, woke. They, <laughs> <laughs> they ride up and they're like, man, why are these buffaloes that were slaughtered everywhere? Because they just see like entrails everywhere. Right. So they thought it was just a, a buffalo because um, that would happen. They would uh, kill all these buffalo so that the, the tribes couldn't get to them. It would like right. kill their food supply. Yeah. And they're like, wait a minute. Is that a fingernail? Oh, shit. These are pe- these are bodies. And so they had really just destroyed. The, and so oh, they could fuck. never identify Custer because they just wow. destroyed him. Like they would cut your trick because they thought, or I, I think a lot of the would think that when you how you died is how you entered the next life mm. so they would just rip you up fuck like they'd cut your trigger fingers off so if you saw them in the afterlife you couldn't shoot them mm. and just different like i know like the the comanches would take all your organs out of your stomach that you know they just just so you would Damn. really pay for what you did because i mean that's what i've heard i don't i don't know um but <clears throat> Um, so just stories like that where you'd be like, that's Custer. Yeah. Right. You know, like, or, or, you know, the, I love the OJ Simpson story. Um, that's been history with waiting to dry. By the way. <laughs> that's a segment I guess we're doing now. It was awesome. It was great. So d- just stuff like that. Yeah. I think that, you know, the, what was so impactful, like now, I don't think people even know. That's why I did that whole Kardashian thing. Like, because mm-hmm. people were like, she's famous because of this. Like, I actually, no. <laughs> yeah, you go right. back far yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, you realize her dad yeah. uh, defended. Yeah, and, and people were like, no, because she started off as, who was it? Paris Hilton's whatever. Homie. Yeah, yeah and I was like, really? Name four of her other assistants. And, and they like, like yeah. uh, Michelle? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, you do know him? Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind, never mind. I lose. <laughs> so it was just, I don't know. I Just all these things were... I just like to point out the the absurdities in life. Yeah. Uh, yeah mm-hmm. It's like Christopher Columbus or whatever. You right. hear about that guy and you're like, ooh, Baruto. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. We get a whole day off for this guy. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. It's always interesting when you start hearing, when people start like throwing a fuss about something in history and you're like, what are they talking about? You do a little research and you're like, oh, that's what they're talking about. Something horrible. Yeah. And that that's what I, I'm just so fascinated about is these these stories that are like, regurgitated to us where it's just this like table manners of like, isn't this a great story how this happened? Like, Mm -hmm. and then you read the whole thing. You're like, Oh my God. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. What? (laughs) How can we, you know? Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. The, the, that like woke series you did, what was the big idea behind that one? Um, I don't know. I'm really interested in like internet culture. Mm -hmm. I love memes. I love, Mm -hmm. you know, so, but I'm also like just too old and and not cool enough to use any of that stuff. So I, you know, the ter- you know, when you hear people say word, you know, <laughs> yeah. they're like, oh, that's woke. <laughs> it's to be like yeah. ironic and silly, right? But you know, I was like, well, well, like, 
what what would woke look like you know right. and then years ago there was um like a daycare provider that um my oldest kid really like drooled a whole bunch as a baby like a ton like change your shirt out mm-hmm. a couple times a day and we were like is that normal I'm like actually she's like honestly those are the smartest kids it's like what do you mean that's the <laughs> smartest kids like because they're too busy thinking it over rides their reptilian brain of like wait i'm drooling i need to stop that's so, why i always drool <laughs> dude you are woke did i ever tell you that <laughs> now i know so um so that's why a lot of those woke ones they're like drooling so it's like this almost like high level meditation of like the, the eyes are big and like you know i'm kind of uh-huh. in a trance so but i just thought well, I wonder what hilarious. that looks like so um but i like to pick everybody i picked i picked for a reason yeah. um just I think it's fascinating how like the the internet world like the new celebrity like if you're a big deal that means half of the population doesn't like you also right you know what I mean like because just out of principle like I don't like the best thing ever or I don't like the top thing right a lot of people I'm like that <laughs> um, but people just have you know if you're a big deal you you have 11 million people like you have 11 million people that don't like you right. so I tried to pick polarizing people that I like that actually had like where people are like, you know, oh, they're not funny, or I am so sick of that person, Mm -hmm. just to get some some dialogue going. But I I think, you know, for people that really are, like, making a wave or really intelligent, they are going to offend or or bother half the population Mm because they're not going to just hand it to you. So I picked people that that I thought were pretty cool or at least did, did something in my life that I thought, you know, that that was impressive but sure. i also like that you know people would be like beyonce's not woke right. she's all about money <laughs> yeah. yeah or you know yeah or um post malone or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 uh do those people ever reach out to you like have you have you ever a gotten couple, any response yeah yeah you? um john mayer that was pretty fun he's, <laughs> a, he's, a, he's a funny guy like the thing that i love about him is that you know, I first, you know, for his music, mm-hmm. the guy can play guitar like crazy, for but sure. he also turned into like this kind of internet personality mm-hmm. and like this uh-huh. hilarious guy. One of the funniest videos on uh, YouTube is him, the whole how to write a song. Have you ever seen that? I've seen that. It's, Mm-mm. when I saw that, I was like, this dude's one of the funniest guys out there. I know Dave Chappelle's always saying he's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's super hilarious. So. Um, I just think, you know, people nowadays, like kids today would probably think he's just some internet person. I'm like, no, right. no, he's this, he's the guitar guy from these other albums. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it's been positive though. Yeah. It hasn't been like, n- no one's been upset that you made them look like a no slobbering intense baby. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, but I, I, I did get some like comments from people like, change it up i'm so sick of saying these <laughs> you know, like I, I just i literally did like nine of them so sorry to have uh, ruined your feed God, yeah. i want to read every single post like that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey dude stop posting this god i'm so sick of you bothering my feed <laughs> Oh, okay, mom. Just kidding. No, my mom never smiled. Yeah, even the positive ones. They would still be one. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. Um, uh, they just make d- your day go by faster. Like, no, that was great. <laughs> uh, that is hilarious. Yeah, and my wife. She she's always kind of like reads the negative into comments she's always like look at this what this person said i'm like i don't see what you're saying she's like she said this i'm like oh how are you reading it and she always reads it aggressively <laughs> yeah. like the person's like why did you do that you yeah. know when they might be like hey why'd you do that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what medium did you use <laughs> yeah. god yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. uh yeah so it's it's interesting to know that you're here like people so when i'm when we, when we were dming back and forth you're like do you want to be on my podcast like <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh and what do you hear now like what is, is this is, is the voice coming through pretty now? much i have a, a fluid in my brain that makes <laughs> yeah. everything sound like that <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like the you ever the what is it hitchhiker through the galaxy you ever seen or read seen the that. book 
Yeah, they have like this thing where you put a, th- a little bug in your ear and it translates so you can understand any language. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this sounds similar to that, but Pretty instead similar. it's Valley Girl or <laughs> yeah, very, very useless translation <laughs> to you know, direct English. Uh, awesome. <laughs> That's super cool. So, so you went to school for all this for like art, uh, education actually. Mm-hmm. So um, I ended up being a teacher, but I, I, you know, you take your your general art classes, and that's all I did. Mm. You know, you have to take your ceramics, your sculpture, and I just hated them. Mm. Just did really, really poorly in all of them because I, I had a really bad attitude. I, I mean, I have a bad attitude, but I also <laughs> had a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I just, I had a hard time like having teachers like tell me things. And I'm like, well, let me see your stuff, and I'd look. Like, <laughs> well, why would I listen to you? <laughs> that's how I hear my voice. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so just progressively getting higher. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, a, yeah. <laughs> like, is that a whole Bible verse? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know. I just was super bitter, and I didn't want to have to take all those classes and uh, all the other like. I, for some reason, everybody hated me in college. <laughs> I don't know why. They're just like. <laughs> I didn't act like an artsy kid. I just was like just a, a guy uh-huh. that show, would show up and uh, it just never clicked. Um, right. And so I was pretty bitter about the whole thing and just got through classes. And, you know, because you know, we're talking about in the workshop today, like a, <clears throat> a lot of colleges or, or, you know, furthering education type stuff, they don't really teach you how to paint technically, mm. which is what I was interested in. It was more about can you defend yourself and sound intelligent and mm. have purpose for why you're doing, which is valuable. Mm-hmm. But I kind of felt like I wanted both. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it, yeah, it, and then mostly just education classes yeah. after that. So, and you went to school, Harvard. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, I've heard of it. <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's nice. <laughs> that guy it's Oprah of, went there. <laughs> yeah. A lot yeah. of baby slobbers, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, University of Wyoming, actually. It's, I was born in Colorado, but spent most of my uh, youth and, and early adult in Wyoming. So. Mm. Hmm. And they had artsy people there. I, I literally know nothing about anywhere outside of California, I feel like. <laughs> well, it's the artsy part of Wyoming, the Jackson Hole. <laughs> Is that area? Yeah, it's that's so far like off from everything. Like you really have to make an effort to get there because it's oh really yeah it's nowhere near anything. I mean you you're making an effort to uh, to go there. Mm-hmm. I mean pretty much any town in Wyoming. Like <laughs> yeah. you got to drive somewhere. It's like three hours to get somewhere you don't want to go in <laughs> Wyoming. You know, hmm. so like um, the liquor store. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah, so, um, yeah, what so, were we talking about? So, so, <laughs> so if, if, if kind of like, just, I'm trying to get like an idea of how, like, you being, painting what you're, were you kind of painting similar to what you do now? Was it? Was no, it? no, I actually got into doing Western art at first. Uh-huh. Um, I still do a little bit of that because um, some of my favorite painters and some of the guys I actually studied early on were mm-hmm. all Western art guys mm-hmm. that really mm-hmm. know their stuff because they're all illustrators from New York City. Right. When they okay. retired, they moved to like Tucson or... Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So a lot of those guys, they're some of the best technical painters. Mm-hmm. Right? And so you can learn a lot from them. So I'd go to different galleries and museums and like kind of reverse engineer how I thought those paintings would go. Mm-hmm. So I did that for, you know, for a while. And then I really took like... <laughs> probably like an eight year break from painting. Mm. Just, just stop doing it. Oh, I do wow. like two things a year just, to, you know, to, for shows or, you know, a couple commissions, but I was effectively kind of done with it. Mm. Huh. Doing the Western art. Is that how you met Jeremy Lipking or how did that come out? That came from, um, death of a coworker. Oh, it came from that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was an interesting little project. Yeah, it is. It was an interesting study on, um, I guess, you know, internet communities. And yeah. mm-hmm. it was really hard to make happen. Um, so, 
I don't know if we should try to describe kind of what it is so people know what we're talking about. Yeah, we would kill coworkers yeah. <laughs> and film it. No. Um. <laughs> and then never got caught in Eva. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, a project um, Benjamin Bjorklund and I came up with. Oh, I didn't know you guys mm-hmm. did that. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. So we, we had the idea. We were talking about a Sufjan Stevens song, and we thought, oh, you know, how do you think that song looks? Oh, it looks like this to me. Oh, I look like this to me. You know, just kind of hmm. like, wouldn't that be interesting to like do a trade of like, let's pick this thing and what does that sound like to you? Mm-hmm. And then we won't even tell each other. and We'll just trade it. Huh. You know, just kind of fun. Then we thought, well, someone could think like, it sounds like a red circle or it looks like a red circle. And like, oh, to me, it looked like this massive painting of, you know, 50 hands. And, you know, like that's hmm. not, a, not a fair trade, so to speak. So we thought, well, what if... What if it was like uh, portraits of each other, you know, kind mm-hmm. of like an honoring thing of like, oh, yeah, I love your work. So I'll do a portrait of you and we'll, mm-hmm. you know, we'll trade. So we uh, we really picked some some good people to work. You know, I think some some pretty awesome artists mm-hmm. still yeah. that um, I think it was everybody really early on had it, it was kind of like the right time to get to everybody because people hadn't really blown up or whatever but it was like <laughs> you know, pe- <laughs> people were like uh you know in the or kind of getting started and mm-hmm. so i think it it was a good time to get people going but it's as people get busier you can't keep up with that stuff yeah you know yeah, it was awesome to see the work coming out of that you know and, yeah and it's interesting to just even see because the artist is the highlight in every piece so you i, I never think about how an artist looks that yeah, so you, it kind of forces you to go like, oh, yeah. that's that artist? Oh, yeah, I didn't know I, that. I, mm-hmm. I thought that was kind of a nice piece of like, here's the actual person that does this stuff. Right. I'm like, oh, wow. And then, you know, as you get the photos of these people, you're like, oh, they're, they're there. They're in their house or that, you know, they did this kind of lighting. So it's just an interesting study. Some pe- people had different ways of doing it. Um, so it was just an interesting process. Yeah, it's cool. I think, gosh, it didn't last it got about eight months into it and then it kind of just started falling apart. And then Mm. it's just hard to keep up with. It's hard to, it's, it's easy for people to get offended by, you know, like, you know, there's a lot of, I did a lot of stuff wrong with that too, of like, you know, is that when your eggplant scenario popped up? You're like, here's a, picture of you i can't legally talk about it actually (laughs) it's under investigation but when we do this again in a year yeah i'll tell you all about it yeah i might be behind bars yeah yeah can we do this one through uh (laughs) prison um so yeah it was just interesting because like i don't know it was really difficult i made some really good friends and some pretty decent enemies out of it oh wow yeah Hmm. Hmm. but uh, you know it's weird if I, i Apparently, I'm a guy you can really hate. <laughs> like, there's some people that really hate me, and you know I'm okay with that, I guess. But like it, at first, it was like, oh shit, what what did I do? And then you find out, and oh yeah, I did that, okay, <laughs> or whatever. Like you know, everybody's very sensitive. I'm very sensitive when people pretend they're not, but every you know everybody's mm. got their things, and you know, were people mad about portraits done of them? Or like they didn't want to trade with somebody else. Oh, I see. Uh, or yeah. it was like kind of like a level thing, like I'm on this level and they're on that level type scenario. Yeah, there was huh. a couple like that. Okay. Um, yeah. But uh, not necessarily the first group, but just as things progressed, I could tell it was becoming this thing of like, well, I only want to do it with these three people. Like it right. doesn't work that way because it's not a it's it's your time and their time. It's mm-hmm. not like well, my stuff's right around three thousand. Like right. no, it's not a no. You're you're missing the point here. And then mm-hmm. it's very quick to have that hurt people's feelings because you know like it's a the Instagram art thing is it's 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 so weird. Like you'll follow somebody and like you. And they'll follow you back. Like, hey, we're buddies. Right. And then like you'll like each other's stuff like for a couple weeks or months. And then like you slowly stop. And then you're like, you'll go back and like, they don't like my shit anymore. Unfollow or whatever. <laughs> and then you go look like, they unfollowed me. I'm unfollowing them back. And like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, woo. You know, it just becomes this like, right. I don't know. It's just so weird of, you know, because you know these people, but you don't know them at all. Right. And then, you know, people have all their reasons for unfollowing or blocking or whatever, you know. And mm-hmm. that, that's just... It's just, it's just a weird, yeah, a weird thing. Yeah, I've never, I don't know if I'm blocked by anyone. That'd be, how do you even find that out? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, hang on, dude. Let me. Uh, <laughs> hmm. 
All right. <laughs> cool. Thank you. We're, we're good. So now. did you block Check me or phone. unblock me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just like a blatant block right in front of yeah. you. Like, oh, yeah. no I'll one? show you, bro. Thank God you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> did I forget to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in your calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone blocked me up. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, I get lots of people to block me. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. But, you know, at first it bothers you and you're just like, well, what did I do? Why don't they like me? And then after a while you're like, well, I don't. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, you sending too many eggplants. <laughs> Is it such a thing, though? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True, there's... You can never have too many eggplants, is what my mom used to always say. <laughs> like, mom, why do you keep saying that? That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it, it's very weird. She called yeah. me and said the same thing. I was like, ma'am, please stop. Call. How did you get this number? <laughs> uh yeah you can't block her either yeah crafty she's, she's, she's like, unblockable yeah <laughs> she's got those burner phones yeah. yeah and like physically i meant like her hands she's got hands <laughs> it's hard to block yeah uh, i noticed that very tall very tall <laughs> very tall yeah gives good hugs though yeah, that's true <laughs> great hugs <laughs> um but yeah uh, yeah, God, I don't know where we go from there. <laughs> yeah. Talk about your dad? <laughs> short. Very short. Surprisingly. Can I was... walk under a table without <laughs> b- bending over. <laughs> uh, uh, but huge feet. So Yeah. It's a weird look, but I, I don't mind. Very weird. Uh, uh, his foot to body proportions. <laughs> are... Yeah. Yeah, people, I draw him sometimes, and people are like, the feet are kind of big. And I'm like, mm, you don't know just, the model. Just you wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're spot on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God. Uh, well, that's cool. So, God, I didn't I didn't know you did the death of a coworker. That was so interesting to watch as an outside viewer to be like, wow, these people are doing some really cool things. Yeah, and, you know, from time to time, I'll still hop on and, like, because mm-hmm. I wanted to open it up to everybody because that, w- that was another really hard thing is that people would, like, because logistically, like, it was really tough to, like, match people up. Mm-hmm. Some people have an off month depending on if we had enough people right. or, you know, so just, like, this big headache after a while of, like, wait, you're t- paired with this person this month. Wait, you're off this month, but you didn't do last month. So, but, you know, mm-hmm. and you'd have all these people who were, like, you know, super talented that would be like, hey, how do I get involved in this? And Right. Uh, I don't want to say no, but like, I don't know how to fit it in. Right. And so I just opened it up to people and got really good stuff out of it. Mm. And so from time to time, I'll go back in and, you know, like people hashtag it and they're like, oh, yeah, I'll post these ones. These are really good. Mm. Um, But it's just tough to like, it's tough to be a judge on that kind of stuff. Mm. So I don't, I don't like being in that spot either. And how did how did you and Benjamin kind of get together? Um, just Instagram. I started my. Um, I actually got an Instagram to to follow his account because. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Um, and I've just been stalking him ever since. Um, <laughs> does he know about this? He does. <laughs> okay. Um, no, but is that I, why we're in the bushes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can see you. Put your pants back on. God. This is a podcast. <laughs> That's why we do podcasts. There's, there's no video. <laughs> um, no, so um, I, I was shown his account and I was like, holy crap, this stuff's amazing. I've never seen mm-hmm. anything like this. And then uh, I'd never bought any art before. And I hit him up and I was like, can I buy something from you? Mm. And then, you know. And he was like, no. Yeah. I was like, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was easy. Why did you just say no? Um, so I bought, I don't know, three or four things. And then he'd mentioned he was coming to the uh, United States for a workshop. And I was like, well, let's hang out. Come come to Colorado. I'll show you around. So, And then we started doing workshops. And um, I've done five or six workshops, I think. So, mm. yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. We're in a post workshop environment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
you know, I, I, I kind of talked us into a corner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so this is awkward. When did the wheel start falling off? <laughs> <laughs> so, what about that weather? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, in Chicago, it is a balmy negative four. <laughs> uh, I know someone uh, I saw on your Instagram. You asked people if they wanted questions, and should we, we read some questions? Sure. <laughs> I mean, we do have the one in the top of my head about the car insurance. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've been thinking a lot about that one. Me too. It's been haunting me. (laughs) (laughs) I've prayed about it. (laughs) Good move. Yeah. And any words? Have any words come down? Nothing yet. Well, he's busy. (laughs) He's like, oh my God. (laughs) He doesn't know how to answer this question. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's a good one. So, I mean, if any, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, someone wanted to ask and get red, grab some tissues because this is serious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the movie Cars, do those cars need car insurance or life insurance? Or life, oh, or life insurance? Yeah. Uh, I don't and, know. I don't think. Anyone? I don't think I should decide that one. That's not up yeah. to me. That's a, uh, you know. Well, I hope Gross Brad liked the answer. <laughs> like, Gross. cool, unfollow, block that asshole. <laughs> I was serious. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Frank. He's like, he's got the answer. Yeah, he knows what it is. He, he just doesn't want to share. He knows his short-term life insurance. He knows that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but long-time car insurance. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's a thing. Because that's not. illegal. You can't not, you have to have that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think it's both. Okay. Can I say both? You can say both. Okay. We all have both, right? Well, I don't know if I have life insurance. Maybe I do. I don't know. (laughs) I do. Good move. Yeah. Good move because all the people that are gunning for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're out there. I'm worth a cool 50K, guys. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Well, that's impressive. Yeah. So, Uh. (laughs) best of luck. Come find me, yo. (laughs) So you live in a gated community, <laughs> obviously. Uh, uh, train number two. I don't know if we'll pick that up, but hopefully. All right, so. so that's a good tone. So, so what is some, well, well, let's see some other I, Someone questions. I saw said that you used to do music back in the day. Is that a real thing? Did somebody ask that? Someone was like, oh, talk about your music from back yeah, in the day. Yeah, somebody said, tell us about your musical background. Yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't know mm. that. Were you like a falsetto? What are we talking here? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean, I was in a band in college, but mm. it could only be one of the other bandmates who would ask that question because, like, nobody else. He's just like, talk yeah. about me. Yeah, what about our band, dude? <laughs> We're going to get back together. Yeah, dude, I'm still in the garage waiting for you, dude. I got a new Fender P bass. <laughs> I'm ready. He actually has a guitar in his avatar, so he is ready. Oh, who is it? Stash Johnson. Oh, Stash Johnson. Shots out. Uh, Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> uh, All right, so what's, what are some other questions we got here? Um, let's see. What's been your most controversial piece so far? And uh, Well, they had a two-part question. What piece do you wish got more recognition than it did? Hmm. That's a good question. That is a good question. Damn, why didn't you think of that one, Sir Joe? <laughs> yeah. I outsourced my questions to everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Michael Jackson one, for sure, was the most controversial. Because oh. I think mm. it's, a, it's a thing where if you mess with skin color, people right away think it's there's like a racist undertone. Well, he, you racism, didn't mess. Man. I love to racism, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't mess with the skin tone. No, but like, they, did. I know. I think people thought like I had some ulterior motive of like, see what he, you know, huh. I don't know. But hmm. I mean, I had some serious haters on it. Well, the funny thing was this, um, I posted this and I said, you know, whatever, here's something about Michael Jackson, blah, blah, blah. And Thriller's not that good of an album. Ooh. And people were like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What did you say about Thriller? Yeah. I was like, you know, I, and I still stand to it. <laughs> really? You're not a Thriller fan. I, I like three hit songs the, off Hit them. the stop button. Yeah. Got a, <laughs> okay. Get boy, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but like the doggone girl is mine. Come mm-hmm. on. You don't listen to that song. Uh, like every day, but like every other day. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. I just don't think it's for it to be you're like the number one selling album in the world. I don't think it is. You're probably right. I, I mean, I don't know how much of the album I listen to. That's correct. <laughs> Most people, yeah, you'd say like, okay, cool, big Michael Jackson fan. Name every song on there. Like, <laughs> Thriller. My um, wife's upset right now. She's a huge Michael Jackson fan. She's probably like, I can name all of them. And I'm like, yeah. okay, never mind. She won tickets to go to his funeral, which is like what? her <laughs> shot. Yeah. And I'm like, she didn't even go, but it's like, why didn't you go? <laughs> It was Michael, dead Michael Jackson. You only could see that once. It's the last performance. <laughs> the farewell show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did they really do that? Yeah. It was like televised. It was oh, a right. Weird, I do like, remember celebrities that. Celebrities yeah. went and it was like this whole weird funeral thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and she won tickets to it, which is also weird. <laughs> yeah. How did you even like, get in the running to win <laughs> yeah, tickets exactly. for this? I don't know. I, I never asked you that question. That's a good question. Uh but yeah, I, I painted Michael Jackson the, the later years once, and it was interesting because you're kind of having to focus on the the face of the man. And I realized while painting it that he had hair plugs. It was like, oh, I can see like the doll hairs in your Yeah. And I was like, I wonder, because his hair was so odd. I was like, I wonder hmm. if that yeah. was at all not his hair. Hmm. It was this weird, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was a weird, fun fact I learned while painting him. Yeah, he. I think he was kind of the first public guy to really go off on on that stuff, to where mm -hmm. it didn't make sense to people. Now enough people have done it. Like you know, yeah. you watch the shows of like, you know, when yeah. plastic surgery goes yeah. wrong. You know, cat or, lady or something. Like yeah, that. but he was the first where it was like, this. You know, and he remember he was like, I, I don't have any plastic surgery, and everybody's mm -hmm. like, Why are you lying? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. you're legit. Why? Yeah, but it, he's still. You know, him and Elvis to me are like two of the most fascinating things mm. people ever. Like the, sure. just the whole concept of who they are and yeah. how they came to be. And um, yeah, they all kind of end as tragedies in a weird way. And mm -hmm. But they were these legendary guys, but so alone. Yeah. So like obscure. Like, I mean, I remember reading about stories about Elvis who he was like an insomniac and he would just hang out with cops and doing ride alongs mm. or, you know, like. Just these things, like he could, couldn't trust anybody. Like these, huh. they can't trust anybody. They don't know what, what real friends. So they just get involved in like weird stuff. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's weird. It, also, the fact that they're like world, no, they everyone knows them, but they're just human beings. Like they poop. Yeah, you know, it's always like a poop so hard they die sometimes. What? <laughs> Elvis. Oh, that's oh, that's how he died. <laughs> yeah, I, died I think on I the died. toilet, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll get you. That'll get you. Oh, they'll get you. The poops will get you. <laughs> Is that covered in your life insurance? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, let me find out. It's covered in my car insurance, so. <laughs> huh. That's useful. <laughs> uh, God, what, next question. I, guess. I don't <laughs> I guess. even remember what the question was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. happening? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One thing I did want to ask you about before you asked the next one is, sure. you know, like the, the, I forget what they're called, but the ones where you, like, it's almost like a silhouette, like just this dark figure with a mouth and two eyeballs. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I know you were like, this is a self portrait. And I'm like, uh, uh, at least on one of them, I don't know if they're all your self portraits of yourself or, but what kind of, I was like curious to, what went on in that, like with you, like in your head about why that is a self portrait? I guess I don't know. You know, those actually, those are really, really like, dark times as far as like um, just super depressed, super. Mm -hmm. It was just hard to connect with people, mm -hmm. and I don't know. It was just something about like people no longer felt right to me. Mm -hmm. Like as I talked to people, it was almost like. You know, it's your most like primitive caveman. You like make eye contact and you see people talk. Mm -hmm. But also like as uncomfortable as it was, like, you know, having the teeth be kind of super stylized and really mm -hmm. offset or, you know, like it just felt right. It's a weird thing. Like it's just how things looked to me at that point or, or made sense. I look at them now and I'm like, I don't know where that came from. Mm -hmm. But back then it was like, I, I swear people looked like that or like mm -hmm. I gave off that vibe of like, just I was so disconnected from people, just from you know various things, but um, so they sometimes I don't even like looking at all those ones because huh. you know they do come from like such a, a a weird place that 
doesn't totally make sense anymore. Mm. Um, and as I say it out loud, I sound like a crazy person. Yeah, I'm sorry, but... Sergio made you talk about that. Keep going, <laughs> yeah. Sergio. <sighs> no, but um, yeah, it's just, uh, man, I'm just painting how I, f- what made sense at that time. Huh, that's interesting. A lot of people would hit me up and be like, dude, I know exactly what you feel like. That I know mm. this is how I feel with this. Or um, a lot of people, there's some kind of, I don't know if it's a disorder or if it's a, just the commonality of like people having these things where they wake up and it's like sleeping on their chest. Have you heard of this? It's like a psychological uh, yeah. thing where it's like pressure on their chest, mm-hmm. but it's this big dark figure. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. And so people are like, is that what that is? And it's, what is that called? Uh, incubus. Oh, yeah. Called? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I did some totally different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some sort of eggplant shape thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so big. <laughs> What's the um, McDonald's like purple guy? Oh, Grimace. Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> this giant eggplant guy. <laughs> uh, gosh. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where were we? <laughs> Probably eggplant. Chest, uh, dark oh. ominous chest. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's hard to go to Grimace eggplants and... <laughs> yeah, and then bring it back. Yeah, yeah. so serious stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so back to this darkness we were talking yeah. about. <laughs> um, but yeah, those those are just... I don't know. They're kind of weird paintings. Sometimes they mm-hmm. still make sense. Other times, not as much. Huh. That's interesting. It's interesting to hear that you... How you look at them. Because I don't know if... I necessarily feel that way about any of my work ever, but maybe that's something to do with me myself or, yeah. uh, huh. Yeah. And you know, I, for there's times where I paint really, really personal stuff and I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't know why I'm putting this out there, but mm-hmm. might as well show my deepest, darkest secrets and things to strangers, <laughs> <laughs> you know, cause it, I mean, social media is the best place to do that. Right? Yeah, I know. Like, then you get that sassy voice again saying like, <laughs> Oh my God. It's his. Like, so, um, uh, <laughs> you're like, uh, that was just all of my feelings, but <laughs> thanks for dumping shit onto it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to laugh about it though. Yeah. Probably right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, did you want to ask any other uh, yeah. Questions. Um, Sorry to bring you dark before. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. next one. So, anyways, what's your favorite <laughs> yeah. color of the rainbow? Yeah, we know your brushes are cheap, but how expensive <laughs> is the scraper? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. Like $95. For the scraper. <laughs> it's made from bald eagle heads. It's <laughs> yeah. very expensive. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> bald eagle heads. Uh, so, um, somebody wanted to know if you feel like artists have any sort of mortal, <clears throat> moral obligation toward like your followers in terms of things like racism or sexism um especially i guess with your subject matter if you feel like you have anything that i don't know if you feel like other i guess artists in general might have have an obligation to what just to challenge people on their ideas i think i think there's ways to do it where it's not let's fight about it Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because topics like that i mean i like i said i try to never get political Mm -hmm. because there's no way to you can't win either fight anymore yeah like there's no way discussions yeah and i don't want to polarize people when everybody should be like let's have a real conversation instead of like you know fuck you no fuck you right um but i'm saying it louder yeah right um (laughs) so higher pitch (laughs) yeah (laughs) Don't play that game with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah. The highest pitch. <laughs> Look out, Mariah. <laughs> that was a high C. <laughs> um, um, so I, yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know if, I think there's a way to talk about things, but I think there's a way to do it cleverly. I think there is some obligation to try to, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, for, I for me, I don't, I don't think like my, me personally, I'm like, I don't think there's a responsibility. Like if you want to, mm-hmm. I think you're free to, but I don't necessarily think that you have to. Right. Like if I want to draw butterflies, 
I can draw butterflies for the rest of my life. I don't think I have this obligation. Prove it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to prove it. <laughs> You're going to regret right, the day. Start now. Go. <laughs> How much you want to bet? <laughs> How much you want to bet? <laughs> like a $10 bet the rest yeah. of my life. I'm just like, uh, why yeah. did I? <laughs> this better be a good $40. <laughs> yeah. And then I die. And he's like, well, who do I pay this to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know he said he had a wife, but I don't have $40. I didn't yeah. think he would die so soon. Uh, you said you had 50000 <laughs> Yeah. Are you <laughs> listen about that? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I think there is. I think there's an obligation to challenge people or to. I mean, if you're really going to push it, I think there's an obligation to touch on some things that are important to you. Wanna, but to, can you pull the mic? You can just pull it to you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it, it's easier that way. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> when did the wheels fall off again? Oh, uh, so long ago. Yeah. Um, um, what were we talking about? Uh, obligations to oh to, about race and uh, yeah, or just social issues. Yeah, I think it's important, but yeah, I don't know if an obligation would be there. But I, I mean, if if you feel compelled to do it i think you are you, by nature you're kind of yeah. obligated by yourself like i need to tell the story for sure yeah i would agree with that yeah, i mean but yeah yeah for me it's it's like uh something i never want to discuss because just the same kind of reasons you brought up early of like it, it it doesn't it's not a conversation i enjoy having yeah. because the dialogue gets so intense and so polarizing that it's not it's not productive to me as far as like a conversation if we're going to talk about art. And, yeah. and I think those topics are meant to be conversations. Like if you're putting out work that's talking about social issues, I think you're also inviting conversation of that, you know, so you're, you're, yeah. and, and you know, maybe it's for my own sanity that I do so, but, hmm. but yeah, uh, I don't know. That's my opinion. I, don't, I know they didn't ask, but I so. can we edit that out? Yeah. <laughs> so, Joe, <laughs> cool, bro. Anyways, back <laughs> to me. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What we'll do is we'll just get that like high pitch and just like yeah. beat me out. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, was that you or that? <laughs> I don't even know. Anymore. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, it, yeah. I think if you're going to do it, you have to do it <laughs> cleverly enough to where you you don't leave a whole lot of opportunity for people to fight about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can just kind of say, "Here's here's one side of it, or here's the the two ways to look at it," and right. I'm just bringing it up, and maybe you can tell what my thoughts are on it. But I think in order to have an intelligent way to do it, you you don't want to invite just an argument. Where yeah. people are just bringing up talking points and they forget about your intention. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. One of our guests recently, very politically minded person, but his artwork is has some politics in it, but it's very subtly done. Like mm -hmm. it could easily, you could easily just go beyond that and just be like, oh, I just like this as a painting. But yeah. Then you look into it and there's a story behind what he's saying in there. Right. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> And if and and talking with him, he's also when you discuss it, it's it kind of carries on of like there's subtleties to his arguments, and right? Yeah. To his beliefs, which is great, and mm -hmm. you can have a conversation. And that you know that's I don't know that's the most important thing is if right. you and I don't know if the art's always telling you know if that's I don't know. like I know there was that lady that did like a Donald Trump with a tiny dick. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you talk to her and maybe she does have some subtleties to her or her conversation, but right. I don't know if the art says that it might say that you're going to be polarizing. Yeah. A, it's, it's, as an it's opinion. too polarizing. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, I, and that might work for some people. I wouldn't, it doesn't work for me. Like I, yeah. I can be polarizing in other ways, but when it comes down to like relatively serious stuff, it's like, eh, I need, you need to be a little more cautious yeah. or a little more intelligent about your attacks or your yeah. thoughts. So. Yeah, I agree. You know the the painting you did of what's the guy's name? That's like the clown killer. John oh, Gacy. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, did you mean to scare me for a couple of? Uh, <laughs> did you mean to give me nightmares? Was that <laughs> dude? That here's the thing. Like his story is so scary. So scary. But as time goes by, 
things get cute and funny and clear, you know, and like mm-hmm. you can have things where it's like, uh, oh, you're just being Hitler about it. Oh my God. You know, or whatever. It's like, wait, go back. Do you know what Hitler did to people? Don't, you know, or like, right. you know, or people right. are like, I'm going to dress up as John Wayne Gates. Like, do you know what he did to like 36 dudes? He pretended to be a cop right. taking them home and handcuffing them and saying, all right, you shouldn't be out this late. Let me take you back to your house. And then he would say, oh, there's a trick to get out of this, these handcuffs. Like, well, you need a key. And then he would throw a rope over your neck and had a piece of wood. And he would twist it around really, 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 really quick until you died from it. Hmm. <sighs> and he would then bury you in below his house. And he had like a crudely drawn map of where everybody was. And when like the, uh, the uh, vents would turn on in the house, it, his whole house would smell like total death. Like cops were puking in the house oh, where his family God. lived for years. And, and then they found like this. I mean, the, the, up until the day he was uh charged with it everybody thought he was cool except for a handful of cops were like i think this is the guy (laughs) really yeah and he he admitted it and then got super delusional and i was reading something about they were able like his attorneys were able to like do like a stay of you know like you're not gonna get executed we can file this stuff and Mm -hmm. you've got more time and he was so into this like fame thing right that he didn't return their call he was busy doing all these other phone calls and they went, went ahead and executed him. And they were like, we could have slowed that down. But, oh my God. But there's even interviews of him. He's like, I'm not like those Jeffrey Dahmer freaks. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it, it, yeah. So it's uh, just weird. Like if you really read these stories about like what happened, it's just so interesting that people are like, oh, he's my favorite serial killer. Like That is so weird. Yeah. I mean, I get like people, it's like an interesting story, but it's just an interesting thing to have like a favorite. Right. Yeah. But. You know, and he, uh, he, what are the top, top five stories? Like when, you know, him, Dahmer. Well, Ted he was Bundy, also a clown, which is just like even creepy. Pogo the clown going to, <sighs> yeah. And I think somebody commented once, like, you know, my aunt was at one of those parties. And, oh, shit. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. kind of like, I wish Yelp existed then. <laughs> so you can <laughs> yeah. read reviews. Yeah. Of like, I don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A little creepy. I had a coworker who lived in the. Chicago area who had um, like one of those, you know, uh, lawn signs that says vote for John Wayne Gacy for whatever. Cause he was pretty reputable. Oh, he, wow. had like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he had like a decent handyman lawn care business of people, you know, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. So it, he was, a, I mean, there, so many of those guys are just, just horrible. You read any of those stories and it's, I sometimes I even feel bad I painted them because I don't want people to think I was like glorifying them like isn't he cool the way Mm -hmm. you know well there's these like it's like I think you did like Charles Manson or something where you show like a young version and an old version yeah and uh, in those things it does kind of make you think of like was he that always or there is like that Mm. yeah uh, right which is gr- like a uh, interesting thing as far as art, you know, where we, especially if you in on Instagram where you consume art so quickly and you go to the next thing, like those videos do kind of make you stop and think maybe even if it's not about the art, at least about the person you're painting and go right. like, huh, I wonder who he was as a child. They're like, yeah. was there always that like darkness in him that just kind of brewed and came to surface at some point or. Yeah, that's because that's what ha- I was flipping through some book and I was like, whoa, I forgot he was a kid. Uh, I guess he would have been. And just like, you know, you, you compare that to like those the crazy hippie photos with the mm-hmm. swastika. And it's like, damn, mm-hmm. he he probably had all the potential everybody else did. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm sure his life was horrible and had, you know, a bunch of stuff yeah. that he didn't reconcile and all that. But yeah, it, and that's all those paintings are. They're just a quick like, wouldn't that be weird if, or what right. about this? And hmm. just yeah. a quick little thought about it. Isn't life weird? Yeah. <laughs> right. Airplane sure. food. What's the deal with that? <laughs> black box. <laughs> <laughs> just make the whole plane out of the black box. Uh, Carol's oh man's. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, I'm, is that a mic drop? I think it's a mic drop. <laughs> yeah, you guys couldn't hear, uh, but he played the Seinfelds. Like, <laughs> 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 no, dude, stop, stop. <laughs>
Um, uh, I mean, the, we have people in the room. So <laughs> yeah. I, I felt bad that they couldn't hear that. That was yeah. well time, Sergio. Yeah. Well, thank well you. Time. thank you. Thank All four hundred and eighty-five <laughs> people didn't hear that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah our live audio, our first live recording. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, guys! Come on. Okay, okay. Relax, relax, relax. We got to get through this. Come on, guys. Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, the, um, yeah, uh, I don't know, those, just those ideas, cause it kind of reminds me, I don't know, I have this like weird thing where I, when I look at like homeless people, I, I'm always like, I always try to picture them as a child in a weird way and I go like, like, that's somebody's kid. Yeah. Whoa, how did that happen? Exactly. Yeah. Like, wh- no, I do the, too. Yeah. Like how'd they the, get there? Yeah. And who were you as a child? And and why did they just throw that diaper at me? Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, it's, uh, it is weird to think like how people can be forgotten about or thrown to the side. And For sure. They just become margins in the society of like, they, they're, they're not, they don't register as a, a, an opinion anymore to a lot of people. They just yeah. move by, you know, especially bigger cities, it just becomes, you know like sidewalk graffiti like just mm-hmm. like, hurry walk by quick you know for sure right yeah yeah and that's it's amazing like, if you really look at human beings like how at what point did we start doing that right where it's like no you take care of yourself like as tribes people or, yeah. or like, people that were hunters and gatherers where we climbed it at what point were we like no jedediah get out of here we don't like you anymore go live off the <laughs> jedediah <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously, when the Amish were popular. Yeah. Hey, Neckbeard, get out of here. We don't like you anymore. Go build stuff for somebody else. Um, but, you know, at some I'm gonna point. I'm going to be somebody. <laughs> You'll all see. Uh, so, yeah, at what point did we, you know, were we okay with like, yeah, we do whatever. We don't care. Yeah. Just stay out of my face about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there was that whole like a s- insane asylum, like thing or like that the government funded oh. they just kind of like threw to the curb i think reagan right mm. reagan's time hmm. where we used to and then that's when like homeless populations like really blew mm-hmm. through the roof it's because our we we were like oh these people are crazy we all need to kind of house them you know and take care of them i'm sure they were probably darkness going on in those places too but but then we decided to stop doing that and at least from what I've heard, home like the homeless numbers just increased like pretty much overnight by a ton oh, because, wow. you know, people, families were like, we can't take care of them because they're, you know, we're normal people trying to survive. And, hmm. and, uh, and the government was like, oh, we can't fund this anymore. So, so on the streets and, you know, you see it all the time. Like there's a huge population of homeless people who are not mentally there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, but I know that's a big, people point to that as being a big I'll contribution. That. That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, the, the I, I, I don't want to keep coming back to the scrape way things, but I did have like, uh, I mean, I, I did want to like, I mean, the whole like capturing time in this weird way is an interesting concept to me. Like, uh, cause for me, I think a lot of art is just that is like, um, is somehow like capturing, um, almost like the artist in time in a weird way. You know, Mm -hmm. when you go see like the masters or whatever you, it's like, there is something special. I say it all the time about standing kind of in front of the thing they stood in front of. There is that like magic to it. And so it is interesting to see your work and kind of see the, like, you have a, like there is like this narrative about time right about michael jackson being young and being old mm-hmm. and you kind of mentally fill in that gap and go huh like you and it's interesting to think of art being able to do that as a in general for me of like oh he's making me think about a life of a person in a weird way <clears throat> and uh i don't know i just uh, you know, especially thinking about your work and and that, I, I don't know. To me, it was, I always find it interesting when an artist can force the viewer to have actions after viewing the work. You know, <clears throat> That is interesting. Yeah, I think, 
you know, my thought was always like, I, I want to tell a quick story right. in two frames and mm -hmm. make people like wait for it. Right. You know, and I, I've always liked the element of surprise with stuff like what's mm -hmm. it going to be. And then through that time, they've probably guessed three or four things right. mm -hmm. that could be better ideas than mine. <laughs> But at least but they probably were, not. And of course not. I'm, I'm pandering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that voice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, is that gonna? No, kidding. Um, <laughs> you can. Uh, we lost the one listener that sounds yeah. like that. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, Taylor, come back. <laughs> uh, uh, um, what? What are we doing? Uh, the, the telling a story. In oh the yeah, um, I don't. I just think it's fun that people like try to guess, or you know, the fact that they wait to see the end. You mm -hmm. know, I've always liked that. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's also an interesting thing because we consume art so quickly yeah. that you kind of force everyone to wait and go. Oh, something's coming. Right. But you have to wait. <laughs> right. And you have to stop and consume my art. Yeah, and it's like, longer than a second. Right. And the thing is, I've got to make it good enough. To where people are like, that was stupid. Like, mm -hmm. you made me wait a minute for all it was was, you know, him with glasses. <laughs> I don't give a shit if Charles Mason had glasses when he was a kid. <laughs> you know, or whatever. So it's got to be like a little bit of something as to like, oh, oh, that is, I never thought of it that, or whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I do care if he had glasses. Uh, Got him in fourth grade. Hmm. He had an astigmatism, couldn't do contacts. It's really, really sad. <laughs> Some say that's actually what really made him go off the edge. Some say that's the saddest thing that's ever happened to him or he's ever been a part of. <laughs> he was involved in some shit, but that was it. The glasses are the real story. Yeah. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It's, it's just, it's too much. I understand. And I'm sorry we, we went down Just there. stop. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about good things again, like killer clowns? <laughs> yeah. And eggplants. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just call us one eggplant? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Uh, eggplant. Yeah. That sounds, that sounds about Pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So has Grimace been like a big part of your childhood? Or? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> and <laughs> scene. <laughs> Acting. I would like to thank the Academy for... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> artists. Being serious artists. Talking about serious art. Uh, yeah. It's... Uh, I mean, I, to me, this is great. Yeah, oh, I'm, I, 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 I I'm hope it. artists are silly most of the time, and that's not necessarily always the case. But I'm willing to go deep if they if they want to. But oh yeah, I'll if, go. If we want to talk about you know purple stuffed Keep animal going. slower people. <laughs> <laughs> Purple stuff, animal people. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what Grimace is. But is he? I don't think anybody really knows. By the time you find out, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, on my deathbed. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, he was a. Ah! <laughs> and then that's when you're like, what do I do with this yeah. money? He painted butterflies <laughs> his entire life. <laughs> God, he really did it, didn't he? <laughs> You just, think you'd have gotten better at it, though. <laughs> These, just leave it on my grave. <laughs> just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mysteries of life, right? Grimace. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> Grimace. What you gonna do about it? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm writing a novel about it, but yeah. you know, the end is just like. Well, Open to interpretation. Yeah, it's like, choose your own adventure. I have my own opinions, but <laughs> we'll never know. But we'll never know. But yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I think he's a purple sock filled with yeah. other purple socks. Some but. say he's Jesus. <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I believe I read in the Bible something about like, I will cometh back as a The Hamburglareth willeth. <laughs> Verse 22. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburglar, fifteen twenty-five. Grimace shall grimace upon the. 
<laughs> if this were a job, we'd get fired. Just, yeah. just so you guys know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'd be. Yeah. Unless yeah. it was like, you know, writing for Monty Python. Or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, go exactly. on. Develop this grimace thing. I like where it's yeah, going. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Do you want to look at other questions that'll <laughs> sure. kind of bring us back to what we should be maybe helping people? With? I don't know. <laughs> well, somebody asked, do you consider yourself famous? Because I do. Oh, <laughs> can I get your autograph? No. Um, <laughs> no to both. Yeah. yeah, no, no, you can't get it. <laughs> no, but yes, yes to the famous. Yes, yeah, super famous. And no, you can't have it. That's rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you're just going to sell on eBay. <laughs> yeah. I know your type, dude. You're going to make a cool $15,000 off of this. Yeah. And devalue my shit. Um, no. Not even a little bit. I have enough things in my life that remind me that it's all just internet stuff. And it's right. not, yeah, I mean. And even, you know, even it's like you spend one day just go to like. Oh, Kim Kardashian's page. I don't. I've never even done this, but I'm assuming she has millions of followers, maybe close to the multi. I don't know, like probably like probably. ten million or something. Like that. There was I'm just no. a way to find out. <laughs> I wish yeah. we'll never know. <laughs> it's like figuring out what grimace is. <laughs> yeah. It's too hard. Wait a minute. Second novel. What if it's the same thing? <laughs> How many followers does she have? Just a picture of grimace. <laughs> ah! What does that mean? <laughs> What's happening? He's back. <laughs> His hand's on my shoulder. It's fuzzy and cold. I don't know why I'm picturing all of this. <laughs> and just like the, the creepiest part is that like Grimace has that smile that just like the frozen smile. And yeah. His yeah. hand on your shoulder like, was just like the smile. Just uh, This is the last thing I'm going to see. <laughs> And then he likes Steven Seagal neck, neck like snaps. <laughs> yeah. um, and he was the cl killer clown all along. Wow. John Wayne Grimace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God damn it. It all That's was connected, be the title. Man. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of your band? Oh, bro, we're called John Wayne Grimace. <laughs> what do you sound like? Oh, we fucking suck. <laughs> You'll never hear one of our songs. We just wanted to have a t shirt that said that. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Uh, body vent is your first <laughs> <laughs> oh, let the bodies hit the vent <laughs> uh, yeah yeah well damn Sergi your question was supposed to focus us <laughs> oh not derail us even more uh, does the natural beauty of Colorado inspire you if so how I, I've never heard that about Colorado People call it like a imitation beauty, like it's man-made. I heard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing clever for that. So uh, the Rockies, uh, yeah, mm. uh, not really. I mean, I, I love Colorado. It doesn't influence my art really, but hmm. mm. so that's a no. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Colorado, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite horror movie? Oh. No. Do you watch horror? I don't watch horror movies. Huh. Do you get into true crime or anything like that at all? Yeah, but, uh, you know, it goes in waves where, like, and I've talked to a lot of people where, like, you can go a little too far into that no, and sure. then you just like this is how everybody is mm -hmm. and i could just be right. i could be just like this person if one you know like, yeah so i you just it, it becomes too much so i you know i used to read up too much and that I, yeah. I just don't do it anymore yeah it's in, my wife is super into it and I, there's like this weird thing where it's like is this some kind of like like built-in system where you have to like know what humans are made of to like kind of keep you from yeah like it's the ultimate check and balance of like well at least i didn't do that yeah. like i'm still a good person because yeah. i didn't wear another person's face as a mask today, <laughs> right so oh, what i mean is like it'll stop her from like walking down dark alleys oh. she, you know, like it like keeps her safe as far as like i know not to do this because i know not to help a guy with boxes into his house or something like that <laughs> right. and it's it's those like uh I, I, ideas of 
I don't know. To me, that's uh, that's what goes through. Because I'm not into it. I mean, every once in a while, but she is like every day. Like, oh, I watch this documentary about this. And you're like, mm, I can't. Like, do you need a hug? Yeah. Like, I can't <laughs> yeah. do that. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. that's interesting. Yeah, I try to, you know, I feel like there's just enough darkness, you know, already and just enough stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I try to get out of my head that, like, I just can't add to it anymore. Mm, for sure. I mean, a lot of like your images are like pop culture people, and uh, it's a, it seems to be a lot like music based. Is, does that influence you at all? Yeah, like really, like that's probably my biggest influence is more than painters. Mm. You know, like you know, music probably more than anything. Right? Do their personalities influence that at all? Yeah, I mean, it more more or less like their ability to accomplish things or their confidence to. just do their own thing. Mm. Like, I, you know, Freddie Mercury, like, you know, when you look back at a band like Queen, it's like, yeah, of course that makes sense. But right. when, if you, I, I wasn't alive during it, but like, if you really try to like place Queen at that time, like there's nobody like those guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People hated them and they thought they were just super campy. But now you'd think like, they were the big, you know, they were a huge band. They were the, you know, yeah, but that's for like my favorite. That's like my, no, uh, that's the whole, like, uh, if you had a chance to watch any band live, who do you oh, watch? Yeah. It's always like Queen. That's the band to watch. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. That's, I don't know. Sorry. I totally threw you off again. <laughs> Look, start talking again so I can butt in with a random fact um. about myself. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, but yeah, music influence uh, here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that is kind of interesting though, because the confidence thing that you were mentioning, uh, you do see with the people that you kind of, at least for like the woke series, it, there is that like confidence being a big determining factor. If I think back on them, I'm like, oh yeah, the, I see. Yeah, they just go. I, I love people that are like, you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna keep going yeah because i believe it because i wish i was like that like mm. i try to present that i'm like that but mm -hmm. i'm not mm. you know but that's so why when people really do that i'm like damn i love that i wish i had more of that where it's like you get a little resistance and you just keep going mm. i'm sure i mean i'm sure they probably have their their insecurity probably. issues as well but yeah but I mean, just to like, you know, uh, again, a band like Queen, where you listen to all their albums, like, man, these guys were like on a whole other wavelength that yeah, I'm surprised it caught on. Really? <laughs> like those early albums, like, you know, they're so cool and interesting and so far out. Like, how did popular music pick up on this? Right. That's always a a cool little thing. Like, I'm a, I'm a huge Kendrick Lamar fan. And to me, it's like that weird thing of like, how did he get famous? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't be because he's too like, he's he's almost like too good in a weird way. Like, mm -hmm. they, they, like how did the, everybody decide when he? It's kind of a polarizing style. It's mm -hmm. like how everybody's cool with this, but yeah. it's supposed to not be cool. Like right. it's supposed to like, right. <laughs> you know, offend or you know, it's yeah. supposed to. There's uh, so much musicality to his music too, where you like. You guys are okay with this, but you guys are never. You guys are always yeah. like the boom baps in the simplest, you know, repeated <laughs> right. uh, chorus. Which I mean, to each their own. But to me, it's always like. To me, that's always also just as an artist myself. That's always like an interesting thing. Of like, there is something when someone is really great and somehow can somehow tune in to humans in a weird way, you know. Uh, that really connects and you're like, uh, like you're talking about the Super Bowl performance. I can tell <laughs> Maroon five. <laughs> yeah. I didn't catch that, but yes, yeah, when, when the I whole world, the memes. When, they, yeah, <laughs> when the whole world says, yes, we all agree on this. Yeah. This is yeah. the highest a human. Don't can stop at your shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Loosen those pants a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I didn't watch that. I didn't can, either. Yeah, Sergio probably caught that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did. <laughs> All his <Loved> like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, we. 
it's hilarious that there's constantly a train going on because <laughs> the, <laughs> hour know. five train <laughs> number 15 <laughs> because like the fact that we just go off the rails so often yeah. on this <laughs> yeah. it's just like it's just haunting us it's like this weird thing of like but we're staying on yeah. track over here <laughs> choo choo <laughs> I get uh, uh, like I get it <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, we do have these, uh, questions we, we kind of wrap up with, uh, uh, do you want to take it from here, sir? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I think you sent these questions out to me before, but, yeah, um, I think so. Yeah. We basically asked who your top five living artists are. It started off as dead or alive, but people start choosing all the same dead artists yeah so we were like oh, well, so it's like, interesting because usually then the people it's more like people we've never heard of enter the the right. arena and we're like oh i gotta check that yeah, out yeah he's probably hmm i would say i really like uh, joel peter whitkin the photographer oh okay hmm. He's still alive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, God, it's, it truly scares me. Like, when I see his work, it is, like, mm. it rattles my cage. Like, oh, my God. Like, I'll see somewhere. I'm like, this is so troublesome to me. But it's done in such a way, you can't fight it. It's like, God, it's mm -hmm. beautiful, though, but it's mm -hmm. so scary. Mm -hmm. um, come, I, I don't know if it's out yet, but they're making a documentary about the Witkin brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were twins that they didn't know were twins for most of their life, right? I, something like that, yeah. yeah. Mm. Jerome Whitkin? Jerome he's Whitkin. Really he's yeah, really he's good. an amazing painter. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, what a dubious honor for those guys to be brought up, you know, with my top lit. They're pretty pretty pleased with that. Mm. <laughs> um, let's see. Bjorkland. Gotta, gotta love that guy. Mm. Um, let's see who else. Let me pull up my Instagram. My, my brain is... <laughs> <laughs> kind of frozen here. Yeah, Benjamin sure. has made a couple of lists. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Miles Johnson. I love that guy's stuff. Oh, um, yeah. Um, Emilio Viaba is always changing and doing cool things. I really dig that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Daniel Seagrove. Gotta love that guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, just, yeah. Basically, um, everyone you did death of a coworker with. <laughs> pretty, I mean, yeah, it's a, definitely a, a killer group of people for sure. Um, what was the other question? That was. That <laughs> well, was, that yeah, that, is that the five? Yeah, that's five. Uh, the other question is, what would you do with David Cho money? Oh man, if I travel a bunch, probably <laughs> never work again. <laughs> probably never paint again. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. <laughs> It's probably super depressing to have that kind of money after a while. By year mm. five, you're like, nothing matters anymore. <laughs> yeah. um, All I see is eggplants. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any big illusions of like, I don't need a, you know, I don't have anything like I would mm. buy. Or, well, mm -hmm. I, I think the main reason for the question is like, if you had an unlimited amount of money, is there anything creatively that you aren't allowed, you aren't able to accomplish because of the lack of funding? Like, is there anything you'd be like, oh, I wish I could do this if I had funding behind it to really like accomplish this I don't know, big idea or, or something like that? I do books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I, I got some ideas for some, some books for, yeah. for, you know. Maybe we should change it from David Show money to just like <laughs> a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so just like wow, twenty thousand. What would you do with twenty thousand dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really, really brought that down to you guys. <laughs> I don't know nothing. Bye. Well, that's how everyone is. They're like, I don't know. Travel. Uh, buy my parents a house. Those kind of things. Yeah. Know? Yeah. You're like, okay, well, <laughs> cool. No one has ambition. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Just wait to die at that point, I yeah. guess, yeah. is what I would do. Uh, 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 yeah, I, I have this. Whereas right. I'm like, I'll build a big ass podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I have this question I've been kind of interested in asking. Oh, right. It's, yeah. Uh, is there any art artist that you just hate? Like, you look at their work and you're just like, 
I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's that scrape away guy? He does these like corny ass like. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Not really. You know, even if I don't, I have to respect that someone's out there doing their thing. Right. Or at least trying. Mm. And, you know, at the at its very core, like I know how hard it is to want to do it, to try to do it. I don't know. Mm. I mean, yes, but I can't say who it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, but even then, even the people Sergio, that I... Sergio, plug your ears real quick. Yeah. Go ahead and say it. Yeah, he's looking at me, though. <laughs> yeah. Did you turn around? Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> Those puppy dog <laughs> eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, no, because... Yeah. Blink your eyes if it's Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you, my you can stop blinking. <laughs> is, it, is it touching on the mic? We're picking it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, no. Mm. If someone's out there trying, I, I, I got to respect that. You know, do I click with everybody or appreciate it? No, but right. You know, it's certainly not on everybody's list yeah. either. So, and it didn't have to be uh, living. You could have hated on a dead person, but you know, I mean, you already hated on Thriller, so. So you're getting... Thriller's what I hate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah. It's just because I seem to always rant about Jackson Pollock in this n- very negative way. So I figured I wanted to hear other people talk shit about artists. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I could go on rants too, but at the yeah. end of the day, it's like they always had to be that guy and they always mm-hmm. had to be this, you know. Right. Like, so they, they all hold a place in something or at least to be the polarizing the example of like, oh, I hate, gosh, we were talking about Rothko. Mm-hmm. Somebody was talking about like, it's just the word. Like, is it though? I mean, someone's mm-hmm. going to do it. <laughs> Him or Ellsworth Kelly, like eh, someone's going to be that guy. Like, <laughs> does, you know, you got to have it. You got to have all the, so I don't know. I'm I'm okay with it. Yeah. Is there anyone you used to hate that you came around to or just didn't get in general? No, I've been pretty smart my whole life. I just really got everybody. Real sure. slobber, baby yeah. slobber. Yeah, look at me. I'm, dro- I'm drilling right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, <I'm> <laughs> yeah. um, Some said you slobbered the most as a child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get that boy a book. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Gosh, I'm really tanking these answers. I, You know, there would definitely be, you know, Ellsworth Kelly is a good example. Mm. You know, and where I'd look at his stuff and I'd be like, I don't get it. Or, you, but then you'd see the room of like the the colors, the the color wheel type stuff. Like, mm-hmm. damn, that is cool. Or, mm. um, I mean, yeah, I can appreciate some part of. Usually, mm. I don't really hate too many things. Yeah, it's probably a good way of thinking of about <laughs> things. I, on the other hand, <laughs> one of these days you'll get them, Josh. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's the show. Uh, sorry. No, no, <laughs> no, I, since I'm sorry, I ruined this and I'm saying, no, that won't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's hug it out. <laughs> yeah. That'll fix it. You're right. I'll ask, I'll call my mom. She d- gives the best hugs. I don't know. Did we talk about that? <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. <laughs> I was meaning to talk. That was Carol would give a mean hug, man. Carol? <laughs> Wait, Carol's my mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! End it now. We gotta go. Go go. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if, it, if uh, people want to find you on Instagrams, uh, it's just your name, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. No space or anything in between. Okay. Yep. Good. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. uh, Somebody's like, like drooling smart. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was talking to somebody like, how did you get your, like your first and last name is your, your handle. Wow. You must've got on Instagram early. Like I beat all 585,000 Blake Newberts to the punch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were I, just like, how did he get it? So I should just do like Blake Newbert 28. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's another Blake Newbert out there in the world. Just like, I think there's a couple uh, actually. <laughs> this could have been my empire. <laughs> you see all those followers? Those could have been mine. Uh, no, <laughs> you have everything and I have nothing again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I've my last name is Lawyer, so I put the lawyer as my like Josh the lawyer, and I get the question, Are you a lawyer all the time? and it's 
the joke's not good enough to have to say no all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't want to change my yeah. name. Yeah. I committed to it. <laughs> just like these butterflies that are going to come your guys' way. Yeah. Yeah. You, that, bad, that better be your next post. <laughs> <laughs> a butterfly. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> uh, you did your dog yeah. as a butterfly once, right? I, I remember when I was in high school, uh, my buddy asked me to design this tattoo for him. And I was like, all right. So I, he wanted like his name, but like in an X, kind of like his first name kind of diagonal and his last name crossing it. And I drew it and then he got it tattooed. And then people were like, that kind of looks like a butterfly. And I was like, holy fuck, that kind of looks like a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my big, he's like this huge black guy who looks like Debo and he's. He's got, got a butterfly, butterfly tattoo <laughs> on, his <lower> <laughs> 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 on his lower back. No, bro, it looks yeah. cool. It seriously looks solid. solid. Yeah, you pull it, you pull it off. <laughs> Most people can't, but yeah. you did. You, you are wearing that <laughs> solid. <dude. laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was my first butterfly. But as we know, it's not the last. Not the, not nearly. Not every. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, and you guys are gonna be, and you guys are doing you and. Uh, Benjamin are doing a couple more classes. Yeah, we got two more in Los Angeles coming up, which we'll 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 post about that and mm -hmm. make sure people know. For mm -hmm. sure, awesome. Right man. Yeah. So if you guys want to sign up to this awesome class, uh, check it out. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thanks, guys. I really it's appreciate fun. it. Yeah, it's been super fun. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, before we sign off, um, if anybody in the Bay Area is looking or San Francisco, oh, yes. uh, in particular, uh, Nate Van Dyke is looking for some studio mates. So yeah, our wanna... buddy Nate has got some spots open. He's trying to hold the, the that area down. So mm -hmm. hit him up. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been Wade and Drive. If you're still listening, fuck off. Amen. <laughs>